Hello everybody, welcome to my second watch video ever uh, and this is of my prized uh, Rolex 14060 uh, Submariner uh, as you note it is an older model uh, and that is enough for them to call it vintage but uh, in any case uh, I, I do prefer this model um, it is a two line dial as you can see at the bottom also meaning that it's not COSC certified which really does not bother me uh, I enjoy the lug holes giving it this nice vintage look uh, more classic it's a bit more truer to its original submarina form uh, and its origins It sits really nicely on the wrist, very sleek, goes on the cuff perfectly, uh, works on many different strap options uh, and the bracelet as well. Uh, I think the bracelet is a classic look, but to me sometimes a bit, more predict bit too predictable. I really like this grey NATO as well. Uh, this is the tritium dial, so there is no loom uh, that is functioning. It hasn't really patinaed or aged, uh, as you can see, but but it is a classic dial. Trip dot crown. Really good power reserve in this, I was really surprised. I believe there's only single coat AR in the bottom, on the inside rather. Uh, I don't think there are any uh, Rolexes with a double AR coat. Uh, and quite often you'll get that complete reflection from your ambient lighting which I guess is part of its charm. Uh, I, I love the dial, it is uh, it is the classic diver, it is a classic sub submariner watch. Is it the benchmark? Maybe. <laughs> the most expensive benchmark, but there's something very rich and dark about the dial. Um, it's, it's a gloss rich black you know white gold markers for the indices that classic Mercedes hand ours our hand it's nice it's nice I like it thanks for watching